Whew. Oh yeah. We found some dinner. Just jumped on literally one rock right off the beach here. Whoa. Did a good job of digging it out. We've just anchored the boat up. Fortunately the wind is pushing it off just slightly. Um, not too deep because we've just come into this bay and there's an insane amount of crocs. Um, no monsters but decent sized crocs between two and three meters. All just sitting on this beach so there must be a lot of turtle activity or a really healthy food source here for them. Have a go, there's one of the slide marks all the way up to here. There's another set of slides there, another set of slides there, and pretty much all the way up the beach there's sets of slides. There's dozens and dozens of crocs that have been getting around here. So we were tipped off that this section of coastline uh, and islands would have a bit of gear washed up on them from Indonesia and Papua New Guinea. As the crow flies, we're probably only 100 miles. We've stumbled across in amongst the croc slides a timber, a traditional timber dugout canoe. Apparently, it's pretty rare. Have a go at like that. About six meters long, five or six meters long in relatively good condition. Look at that, all croc slides around me. Croc slide, croc slide. Doesn't have a name on it. Yeah, a little bit of old blue paint. I did a good job of digging it out. actually six or seven meters long and pretty damn heavy so that's where it stays for now Jago we need to find one as, half the size as much as mum would love to turn that into a herb garden yeah. so the search continues for another dugout we're cruising up this coastline and it's just expansive endless Rugged, untouched, not a bloody footprint to be seen. We just saw this little flick of a flap, flick of a tail, and about 100 meters in front of us is this big lone manta ray, which we haven't seen this trip. So we'll see if we can get a closer look. Oh, what? Oh, it's just presenting itself. Hey, mate. warm but it's good. We're gonna need a few more of these ones. Yeah, I think that's the last of the good ones. There's a lot of really small bait. Alright, first fish of the day. A little gold spot cod. I think he's a bit small. Yeah, I think he's a little bit small. Pretty, eh? Gold spot cod. We just gotta find one a little bit bigger. <laughs> we got that little gold spot. And this little barrel's just come in. Holy mutt, mate. A beautiful fish, still a bit small. He's not not legal size, but he's still a nice fish. Ooh, quickly away. A few more casts in there? Yeah, I think so. A little bit of activity. Let's see if we can pull out. Still need to get something some decent some size for Tucker. We 
we've just come for a trek, a trek through the scrub to see if we can find a lagoon that I saw on the drone not long ago. Oh, Jack, here's a, here's a crab shell. Oh. Crab shell, long gone. Johnny Mud Crab, long gone. See, we're walking up here in the scrub, trying to find this lagoon, can't find an entry. Feet are just burning. Jack, lagoon's in here, man. Oh, shit, it's hot. Now, have a go at this, we're probably 150 meters from the water. That's a serious light bulb. Oh, gosh, it's hot. Yeah, man. That I don't know how so to... I know, I know. Yeah, it looks super crocky. All right, bring, bring the popper in here, Jack. Try to get a cast. Looks absolutely disgusting, but there could be a fish trapped in here. It's possible. There's literally no chance of not getting snagged here. Well, we've come this far. We had to do a cast. Oh, man, there's definitely a big croc living in here, eh? Yeah, crocky, crocky, crocky. I reckon we get back out of here, man. Get back to the boat, get hydrated. We'll bloody pass out. Oh no. Do you know what it is? We're in a gold spot, just taking you straight back up in there. I don't know whether it's a true valley or a barra, but it looks like a bat out of hell. Seems like the wind's died off, eh? Yeah, I've been down in the bilge for the last half an hour, trying to sort out a wiring issue. We don't really know what is wrong. Our sounder and charts are working perfect up until about yesterday and then they started glitching and now it completely won't turn on. Really hoping it's not the head unit and that someone can help us on one of the islands. The electrical world is, is not our skill set. Yeah. But we're trying all the things we know how. <laughs> we're not overly sure what the time is now, but it's yeah, definitely what, no 3, 3, 30? Yeah. No luck. 3, 3, 30, getting a feed, no luck. Undersized, oh. two undersized fish. Two undersized fish, what's that I heard? Big green turtle. Yeah. He's looking pretty good, just kidding. Just kidding. We just thought, um, stuff it, let's get out of here. And there's a few islands just offshore here. So about 10 miles, 12 miles. So we're gonna make a cruise wide. Bit of a dash. We don't know what's on them or what they're going to be like, um, but we're just gonna go find out. I hope so. 12 miles that way. We're about 10 miles from where we were. We've rocked up at this island. And first impressions are that it's it's pretty scenic. There's a half decent anchorage that will go dry at low tide, which is in the middle of the night. The rest of the island, the majority of it, is this like deep orange red protruding rocks just coming out at like random points of the island. And what makes up, I guess, like a fringing rock reef. Um, so we're having a pop around it now. We may need to jump in. Yeah, no inquiries fish-wise. Not even here. And we've been casting for about 20 minutes. Search continues. Search of getting a feed. Uh, I gotta jump in the water and shoot something. Come on, you're willingly jumping in the water to shoot something. Yeah, yeah we got a, probably two hours left of sunlight. Um, and we gotta jump on. The water looks clean enough. Just off the island here, so we've found a couple of rocks. Gonna have a look if we can find a, a stripey or a cray or a- Anything edible. Anything edible to, to throw on the fire, otherwise it's- Vegetarian. Yeah, flour and water. Man, I'm that hungry at the moment. I just go crush up a few rocks and just sprinkle it over it for condiment. There's two rocks. There's one behind the boat. Oh, jeez. One's behind the boat, and then one probably five meters away, mate. Stay close to me. I'll be next to you. Right, I'll be right on you. Oh, wow. Promise. So we've literally just been seeing crocs all day. Jack's in the water, so mum, if you're seeing this, sorry, but we want to get some food and I will keep the boat next to him. We didn't see any croc slides on the beach, so they're either out here in the water and they haven't gone to land or there's hopefully none here at the moment. Any youngsters watching this at home, we're just starting out spearing, free diving. Generally never ever dive alone, which Jack technically isn't diving alone. I'm literally circling and watching him like a whore from about seven meters away. He's also been spearing since he was 
eight. Eight he got his first spear gun. And yeah, I'm, I'm literally right on top of him and it's very shallow and very clean. So it's a super controlled environment, but generally speaking, never ever dive alone, right? And I say that from experience, from dealing with blackouts myself, with other people, sambas, losing people in the water, all that sort of stuff. So never dive alone. You get more fish, it's a hell of a lot more fun. And in this instance, it's uh, quite the anomaly because we're in the middle of bloody nowhere. We need some food. When the pressure's on. Woo. Before shot of said fire. Voila. We found some dinner, just jumped on literally one rock right off the beach here. And this Tusky found him under a little rock, poking his poking his head out and and thought it'd be the perfect one for dinner, so we're going to turn this into a turmeric curry. So stay tuned and watch that happen. So we've probably only got an hour worth of light left, so uh, we've dragged all the gear up on the beach, got a fire going, uh, found a bit of a flat spot in amongst the highway of tracks that is turtles uh, coming up to the beach so fingers crossed might end up seeing some turtles either tonight or tomorrow uh, pros of this camp uh, decent wildlife haven't though seen any crocodiles which is you know depends on how you look at it pro or con decent enough shade there's a uh, fringing reef off it so we're able to get a feed um, cons not that great of an anchorage mediocre anchorage and not a lot of really good firewood. The pros is the sand isn't too fine. It's not the kind of sand that you um, find in spots you don't want to find sand sort of six months after you've been camping on the beach. Uh, also massive pro for this campsite. <sighs> no midges, no march flies, no sand flies, no biting insects as of yet. We're exposed to a really nice breeze here. The southeasterly is blowing around about 12 to 15 knots, which is just ideal for camping on the beach. And there's the camp in all its glory. How's this? Just as we we're re-anchoring the boat, found this floating next to it coming in. And we'll do our best to catch a fish on that in the next week or two. Curry's bubbling away nicely. When those veggies are done, we'll throw that fish in. We've got a bit of white rice doing its best there on the hot coals as well. Oh, there's some heat in that. Great, whole thing in it. There we go. That won't take long either, eh? There's a fair bit of heat. Ten minutes? Yeah. And the circle of life continues. Thank you, Tusky. Thank you. Not far off. Probably one or two more days. Two will be howling at the moon. Here's a little cuss of beach trick for you. We got no cutlery, no forks, no spoons. I'm gonna make spoons out of this to eat the curry. Out of the coconut husk. Needs a bit of a sharpen. Get out of it. There's a husky, Roger. Spoon. Then you can just trim up the husk on the inside to create the cup. Perfect. Cheers. Hey Jacko, you want a coconut? We're about to lose light. Just went for a quick walk up the beach and admired what's soon to be a full moon. Very beautiful. And yeah, hopefully we get a clear night, clear of squalls and clear of biting things of every description. Uh, but overall, overall a day well spent exploring the unknown.
exploring places I've never been. It comes with a certain degree of challenges. It's not all it's not all rainbows and sunshine, and it's not all easy sailing. It's frustrating at times. You get hungry, you get dehydrated, you get burnt, all that sort of stuff. In the end, it's massively rewarding. It's something I try and come back to when things get frustrating. Where I am, I just go, mate. You wanted to be out here, like this is what you wanted. You were sitting there at home going, oh, I just can't wait to be out there. And now we're out here doing it. Yeah, if you've made it this far, thanks for watching the episode. Thanks for getting back to basics, and I hope to see you out here. You're welcome to jump onto our Patreon page if you'd like to, the link's in the bio. Um, or jump on our website, help support by getting a bit of merch, getting a bit of gear, checking out um, that. But yeah, the biggest thing for us is get out there yourself with your family, friends, or just go solo. Go solo, go rogue. All right, enough from me. All right. It's one of the best sunsets I've seen for a while. That's probably the best sarong in Australia. I think it's got it made yesterday. Strong shot. Alright, man, what's the verdict? I, mean, I could have eaten anything and been stoked, but this is making me so much more stoked. Mmm. Oh, that's so good. Just like warm, and after just a day of like being in the sun and salt and just no, no food, go, you, go get stuck in. You're gonna love this. Alright, I'm getting into it and doing it. That's so good. We put some salt water in there too. Um, yeah, we don't have any salt, so... Well, we do. We've got endless salt. Our back reef. Alright. That's number one. Glass out, Jacko! I've been waiting for this for weeks. Woo! <laughs> Woo! I forgot that. Look at those crows. Jack reckons to me, mate, under every ledge there's five to ten crows, and they've swum under like half a dozen good ledges that have had crows. And look at that. Marble. Marinated for a marble roll. Oh man, that looks so good. Straight on the smoky hot coals. How's that for reef? Veg and beef.